Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, it would seem that the Chris Eubank Jr. Connor Ben fight is dead in the water, at least for now. Whether it can be given mouth to mouth resuscitation at a later date remains to be seen. But apparently, um, according to Eddie Hearn at least, uh, Eubank was being offered about three times more than he'd ever been paid before, but still wanted more. Um, and they just couldn't crunch the numbers. They just couldn't come to an agreement. Now, I've heard a lot of people sort of say that this isn't about money. <laughs> um, first of all, I think, as Eubank's father himself has said, Chris Eubank Sr. has said, my son is a money man. He wants the money. So I don't believe that, that Eubank, is, um, Eubank Jr. is uh, stalling over any sort of ethical or moral reasons. I don't believe that at all. I think he'd take the fight. If they dropped enough money in his lap, he would take the fight. Um, is there a case of him wanting to sort of string Ben along for everything that happened, for popping twice with uh, illicit substances? I suppose he's probably enjoying it. Yeah, there may be that. But again, if, the, if there was enough money on the table, he would take it. The only... Um, possible excuse that I've heard that may hold some water is that Eubank is wary of getting into the bad books of the British Boxing Board of Control because if you if he was to fight Ben they may take a grim view of it considering their uh, the, the appeal against uh, Ben's authorization to fight um because Ben did VADA testing, it was decided, well, that's not legitimate, that's not recognised, therefore he's cleared to fight, which technically he is cleared to fight, whether it's, again, whether it's ethically right or not is a different matter. Um, yeah, maybe maybe Eubank Jr. is thinking, I don't really want to rub, you know, I mean, what is he, 32, 33 now? So he's got a few years left. He doesn't want to be banging heads with the board and getting into anyone's bad books. He wants to, in other words, he doesn't want to burn bridges. He wants to keep everything open, uh, every route, possible route open for making serious money. It does beg the question, though, when you consider how much money is on the table. I don't know the exact figures. I'm not privy to the contracts or anything. But um, where is Eubank going to go if he doesn't fight Ben? Which you would think, uh, I mean, look, I've always thought this is a gimmick fight. I've always thought a fit, non-weight-drained, emotionally stable, which he normally is, Eubank Jr., uh, mentally ready fighter beats Ben quite easily. I think it's a gimmick fight because of their names. Um, but where, who else does he pick on for for anything like the amount of money that's being offered to fight Ben? Don't forget, this is a domestic fight. They don't care about it in America. They don't, you know, it's it's of mild, vague passing interest in America and maybe one or two other, maybe on mainland Europe. But it belongs in Britain, as Eddie Hearn himself has said. Um, so are we talking about... Um, are we talking about a man who just has lost interest in Ben? I can't believe that. I mean, I think that with the money there, he's, he's, surely he would take this fight. I, I'm, trying, I'm struggling to think of what else he's got lined up or what else he could line up that earns him anywhere near that amount of money, considering he is, as has been proven, I think, a, a money man. You know, he's always, the two Liam Smith fights were quite lucrative. But if this fight's going to take place, again, it's a domestic fight, so it need, the, the Ben fight, it needs to be in Britain. Um, and probably Eubank is thinking, he's seeing all sorts of, you know, speculative pay-per-view numbers and thinking, I want my lion's share of that. Um, I don't know, I... I want, I'm wondering if he's cut off his nose to spite his face here. There was a story about, I can't remember the opponent, but there was a prop, a, Sugar Ray Robinson was once once offered $3 million, which is an astronomical amount of money for the 1950s. Astronomical amount of money to fight someone. I can't remember who it is. I want to say it was one of the light heavyweight champs. But anyway... He stuck his. He stuck it out for too long. He, stuck, he he tried to negotiate even more. I mean, unbelievable. He tried to negotiate terms, and and it ended up falling through. And I remember reading a couple of biographies on Robinson, and 
this was mentioned. I wish I could remember the name of the, the proposed fighter. It was a big, big fight, obviously, for that amount of money it was going to be. And he kind of sort of out-negotiated himself, in a sense, <laughs> which for Robinson, who was quite an astute businessman, at least when it came to making money, not necessarily keeping it, certainly not keeping it, but he knew his worth. Um, but he over he overpriced himself at that point. And I wonder if Eubank Jr. has done the same thing here. Um, as for Ben, he's he's made comments that, you know, he's fed up with, you know, pissed off with uh, Eubank Jr. He's got it in for him because apparently Eubank Jr. tried to blackmail him for a million pounds. I don't quite know how he arrives at that conclusion. He's probably got some strange theory, but uh, he's basically saying, you know, he's, He's blaming Eubank Jr. predominantly for what happened with his career. Well, Connor, you popped you popped hot twice, mate. Come on, you know. Okay, you can you can talk about Eubank messing you around, demanding too much money, and so on and so forth. Those may may be legitimate points, but the fact is, again, as we've said for the last fourteen months, you pissed hot twice. Okay. So you have to take some personal responsibility. I am still, after all this time, not seeing any personal responsibility being taken by Conor Ben. I'm still seeing that sense of entitlement, that, that victim mentality, that me, me, me vibe from Conor Ben. And I'm no great fan of Eubank Jr., don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not a fan of anyone who, who puts money as their top of their tree, um, you know, regardless of ethics or morals, that's that's not the way I, I've lived my life, and it's not the way I operate, and I don't have respect for people that do that. But it is called prize fighting. I accept that, you know, and of course you want to maximise your earnings. I, I understand that perfectly well, like anyone does. But it doesn't matter what job you're doing. That's you know, we've all got bills to pay. I accept that. Don't get me wrong. But um, no, come on. I think I think I think Ben and Eubank Junior. When all is said and done, are actually cut from pretty much the same cloth. I mean, they're both you know, rich boys who you can argue have worked extremely hard to, as the saying goes, turn the silver spoon into a gold one. But by the same token, um, yeah, there is that sense of entitlement there, I think, with both of them. Um, but hey, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight got resurrected next year or even later. I mean, the two names are always going to be there um, and casual boxing fans will enjoy watching Ben versus Eubank. Doesn't matter who it is. Could be Ben versus Harlem Eubank. Probably less of a less of a sell because, of course, Chris Jr. has got Chris Senior's name, obviously. But you, it's almost like a little cottage industry. You know, Ben, Eubank, legendary British names. Put them together and what have you got? Money, money, money. All right. So what do you think of this? Are you glad to see the... I mean, the fight never, ever interested me. Hand on heart, the fight never, ever interested me. I always thought it was a gimmick fight. But what do you think? Are you disappointed? Do you think this is kind of a poetic conclusion to everything that's gone on? Let me know your feelings. You know, whatever you've got to say, put it down there. Um, and I'll, I'll read your, your uh, comments and reply to as many as I can. Thank you, as always, for your time. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, of course, hit the like button as well. I'd appreciate that. All right, I'll catch you later. Take care. Bye for now.